I hope you're doing better, maybe. <laughs> I, I just want to make a, a, vi a, con a video about continuing the process and about just some of the stuff we have to talk about in order to get better. You know, one of the things I really don't like is some of these programs they have out there about tinnitus where they tell you they have a cure for it. Uh, I tell you they can that you can make it go away if you just take their medicine or you take follow their program and what happens to people when they do that well they're already tormented by this sound and then someone tells tells them that they can make it go away and then it doesn't work and then they get even more frustrated and they get driven into really you know intense mental uh, dilemmas where they, they they just worry about the rest of their life but I'm here to tell you that it very, 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 very likely is going to get way, way, way better. And But there's ways that you can make that occur faster. You can get to the point where you don't think about it anymore. It doesn't bother you anymore. You're not noticing it. It's just almost gone. Not completely. And you'll probably have a few little adaptions uh, and, you know, like playing background sounds and things like that. But you can get to the point where it's just not a problem almost whatsoever anymore and that's what what I'm here to help you do and that's why I keep making these videos because there's just not enough information and there's people that are selling their services and they they don't even want to tell you how to do it until you pay them and that's a, such can I say bullshit it's bullshit and you know what we need is to just talk have this conversation about what we can do so that we can do this thing called habituation faster because we can we absolutely can and um, you know I just want to say that um, you know I want to talk about that now because uh, what we need to do is just follow up this process of first go to the doctor if go to the doctor if you need to and have them tell you that you're life is not in danger uh, and that you're okay and then after that believe them and then after that you're going to have to start working a little bit harder to just go through this process of saying to yourself tinnitus is not a threat this sound is not a threat it's not going to harm me um, I'm totally fine and I know maybe as you say that you may feel like you're not totally fine but this is not only about you know, you saying it right now, it's about as you come to believe this idea, the way your body, your mind, your emotions respond to this sound will change a lot. And you will move up a level to where you are feeling a good bit better. And this one idea is not the only thing you'll do, but it's the first thing that you have to do is you have to understand this, this, this tinnitus is not going to hurt you. You're going to be fine. And then, I'd say the second idea, I don't always say it this way, but the second idea is I want you to, to know very clearly that there is hope that you will live a very normal life and everything will be fine in the near future as you learn to do this thing called habituation. It's not going to necessarily come super easy to you. Most people, it doesn't but it does come and I'm here to help you do it as fast as possible. So, so the second thing is you need to visualize yourself having habituated to it and cultivate the belief that it's possible. It, you know, if you continue walking around saying this is impossible, I'm never going to get used to this. I hate it. I'm always tormented by it every morning when I wake up or when I go to sleep. When you say things like that, you're just, conditioning yourself to make this habituation process last longer and we don't want to do that we want to we want to say the right things we want what we're saying is conditioning our mind to behave a certain way and our mind is super powerful and there's chemistry going on through your inside your body when you think things and especially something like tinnitus can do this and you, I, I think you're going to be amazed at how different you'll be as you come to habituate and how little this tinnitus, 
you know, is affecting you as it is now. So the first thing was that, you know, about it not being a danger. The second thing was with you, you've got to believe in the possibility that you're going to be able to habituate and feel okay. And, you know, just every day you're not even thinking about it. It's not a big deal. And see that future because it's coming, especially if you can see it more clearly now. So that's the second step is that visualizing what, what's going to come. Um, because after the first step, it's going to calm your anxiety down a little bit if you could believe that it's not going to harm you, which is not. You know, of course, check with a doctor, but it's not. And then the, the second step is if you believe in a future possibility, that will also knock down your anxiety a bit. You believe that good is coming, better is coming than what you have now. And then number three having done the first two steps, it will be very helpful if you can start to learn to divert your attention. Um, I totally skipped the thing about the background noise. You can, you know, think about other videos for that, but you know, having a background noise is, is important too, because it helps, it's another way to help you get your mind off of it. So we'll include that here now. You know? So you can find a sound like the shower or something that is similar to the sound of your tinnitus and play that near you often, maybe all the time, that's fine. You don't have to worry about playing it too much or something like that, that's not gonna hurt anything. I mean, they might say don't play it too loud, but I mean, just don't play it really loud. But if you play it reasonably loud and it helps you tune out the tinnitus, great. Play it all the time, wonderful. You don't have to not play it and torture yourself or something. <laughs> and the next, you know, I've made a lot of videos about this, but you've gotta find ways to divert your attention uh, we want to rewire the brain to think differently and be able to focus on things. Uh, but you have been unable to focus because of the tinnitus, because you're always focusing on that. So we want, we want to rewire the brain to focus on other activities. This is the one that will take longer and you really need to do the work. I suggest you take up a hobby. Uh, it could be drawing is a wonderful thing. Um, it it kind of you know inspires your imagination. It could be learning a language because you have that language running through your brain and you're trying to remember how to say things. You know, maybe your your life could be totally different, right? If you're like in the same room you're normally in, but you're describing your life in another language. You know, it just kind of rewires the brain, right? Um, dancing, expressing yourself through your body is another thing where like you're thinking about the dance steps, how to move your body, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, you know, it's it just creates new networks um, music playing music uh, listening to music uh, singing and remembering how to sing the lyrics to a song and and going over that song uh, again and again until you can remember how to sing it and not just sing it but sing it well with the changes in pitch and loudness and and, and uh, you know singing can be a wonderful thing so some of these types of things are really good at rewiring the brain so I want you to, to, you know, choose something like that. Maybe more than one. Exercising is another one. And just start, as you have these tinnitus thoughts, we want to move away from them and into these new hobbies, into these new ways of thinking so that you're learning to, every time you have tinnitus, you sing a song. You, uh, <laughs> it kind of makes you happy, right? You, you study a language, you listen to music. You, um, you exercise and you do things that replace these thoughts a little bit. And there you ha and as you just move down that road, it won't just, you won't have to work so hard to divert your attention. You'll just, you know, um, naturally do things you like doing instead of thinking about, thinking about tinnitus and then you're home free. So that process, I think most people, it takes a few months, several months, more than a year. But I think if, if I were to have gotten a hold of a video like this back when I first got it, I could have done it much faster. So I hope I'm helping you to do it faster. And I hope you'll even write back about your success and, and give other people hope too. Maybe even make a video like me. Okay, well that's my video for today. Have a wonderful day. Take care.